it. So good extension, both arms. A little bit of uh, head going up and down when you're turning to breathe. It's not bad, but you can see the your head raising and then dropping again when you go forward. So you want to smooth that out as much as possible. It's not a giant issue, but it's something to work on. Your bilateral breathing, though, that's that's fine. You look pretty comfortable doing that. And your body position is good. You're, you're riding high in the water. Kick looks comfortable. So reaching, reaching to a good point, right in front of your shoulder, that's perfect. So looks good on the reach. And then stroke technique wise, it looks like what you're doing with that right arm for sure is more of a, a straight arm pull. So, uh, you know, pulling straight down and then straight back. That's like the second best way to swim. If you can start doing more of a catch or the high elbow catch, that's going to be that's going to be the number one thing that's going to help make you faster. The issue with uh, the pull as it is now is that the, like about the first third of the stroke, uh, you're really pushing water down as opposed to pulling water back. And so if you can angle your hand and forearm vertical then you'll be pulling water back but or, or pulling your body forward depending on how you want to think about it you're pulling your body forward obviously the the drills that we do you know that's going to be most helpful for you one arm drill for sure the doggy paddle drill um, catch-up drill either using the tech paddle or doing fist drill. Let's see the line you're pulling. So you're pulling your arms pretty much straight back as well. That's that's good. So here here we have uh, freeze frames. So good entry and extension. And the other thing is, you know, after your warm up, just anytime you're swimming, you, you would need to think about trying to get the elbow up. So roll your shoulder, elbow up, hand and forearm down. So it's something you just constantly practice. So if you watch, it's not until this frame here where you're really mostly pulling water back now. So that first roughly third of the stroke. More, pushing water down as opposed to pulling water back or pulling your body forward and then you have a good finish to the stroke so everything technique wise with your stroke is pretty good the, the one thing above water that I notice is that your you know your head comes up a little a little more than it needs to when you when you breathe so the the real fix or the real improvement for you is just getting that high elbow so good extension or rotation you know that's about as good as it gets and then starts pulling down or pushing water down and then it's not to really here or the next frame where you're pulling water back so uh, think about it from your shoulder perspective so you roll that shoulder in order to externally rotate your elbow and get your hand and forearm angling down that's uh that's there's no real trick to it that's the main thought on it so i hope this helps